Awesome. I love that video. I know that, that, that's a good one. I really love it. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully everybody is having a wonderful day. So my name is Nicholas Law from Dallas, Texas. So for those of you that uh, joined our meeting on uh, Monday, we did an introduction to binary and um, uh, Coach Carver came and um, then passed it off to Crystal. And, you know, we had a really, really great recording there. So hopefully a lot of you caught that recording. If not, it's in the Telegram group. It's in the Facebook group. Um, if you still don't have it, feel free to reach out to me. Definitely watch that video. So what we're going to do today is Crystal is actually going to set gonna show you all how to set up your charts. Now, when she set up my charts, it made a huge difference. Um, I've been trying to trade binary for, you know, well over a year now. And, you know, I had some success, but, you know, I'd, I'd keep like, you know, building the account and losing it because I didn't really have a system. I was more or less just guessing and depending on other people's signals. But, um, you know, one session with Crystal, she worked with me for a solid hour, set up my charts and everything. And now it's like I'm a completely different trader. Last night I was three and oh, so she woke up in the morning and saw my results. And she's like, wow, it's like miracles do happen. So <laughs> I was like really excited about that. I mean, it's, it's just weird. I see things just totally different now. And I would even say my binary trading is better than my Forex trading right now because I'm working off these small charts, five minute, three minute, two minute, and everything just looks crystal clear to me now. Crystal clear, that's the, the, that that should be the saying. So um, anyways, I'm going to pass it off to her. She's going to show you how to set up your charts with the Bollinger Bands and the plot lines. And it's like, at first it looked really busy to me. I'm like, why do we need all this? And now it's like, everything is just so essential and you'll see what I'm talking about. So without further ado, I'm gonna pass off this call to Ms. Crystal Green and she will show you how to set up your trading view charts. So um, just remember, this is gonna be recorded. You might as well just take notes and take it all in and then watch the recording later and set up your charts. That way we don't slow things down. However, if you do have a question, just type it in the box and I will look at questions while Crystal's going and I'll stop her if somebody is confused. All right, Crystal, the floor is yours, my friend. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. I am going to share my screen. But before we get in the nitty gritty of it all, I absolutely love the fact that um, he put on that video because it's literally key points of that I was actually going to talk about today. Um, do y'all see my trading view? Let me know. It's still pulling up. Okay. Okay, there we go. You see my trading view? Yep. Okay, I have two different screens, so I just want to make sure. Um, but yes, please, please, please take notes because um, I want to say I probably have like maybe four or five different journals of full on notes. Okay, just learning the craft, learning the skill, learning everything inside of trading just to um, progress your learning skills. Okay, um, you know, I just want to say that there was this quote that I saw that's like the the true growth is when you get tired of your own crap, but it doesn't say crap, but you know, I'm not about to cuss, but it's, it's totally true, you know? And I also want to say, um, don't trust your own mind. Okay. Don't trust your own mind. Who was the last time that you ever like said something and you're like, oh, I'm going to remember this, you know, I got this, I got this. But then when it came down to the nitty gritty, you totally forgot about it. Okay, so that's that's really key. Who who here has ever did that or had gone through that where you thought you learned something, you thought you understood, you thought you got it, but then when it came down to it, you're like, wait, what happened? What, what was that she said? Yeah, so take, take notes, okay? So first and foremost, yes, my screen looks busy, but you actually, if you have the free version of TradingView, um, you actually need three of my indicators um yes yeah, so you only need three of my indicators i know i have an extra one but let's get straight on to it this is bolger band who here is like who knows about bolger bands can you hear let me hear wow yes 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 yeah okay so this right here so we're going to go up to here on um the indicators you're gonna click on the indicators and what you're gonna look for is um, Evan. So I don't know if you know this person, but Evan Cabral is 
he's a legend. I, I love him, you know, um, but Evan Cabral right here, binary strategy too. It has um, about 1,833 people like this. So it's actually a really, really powerful indicator. Now, when you first click on it, I'm actually going to um, just get rid of mine because I want to show you what it looks like um, when you first get into it. Okay, so I'll go to Evan Cabral strategy. Bam. Okay, so when it comes up, it looks like this. Looks crazy, right? It's a lot happening. It's a lot going on. So what we want to do is we want to minimize the, the noise because we're already adding on so much into the trading, trading view. So we want to get rid of the noise. So we're going to double click on it or you can go right here to your settings. And um, I like my 200 EMA. And as you know, I like yellow. So I change it to yellow. And then you can also um, change up the different lines if you want to go a little bit smaller, a little bit thicker. Whatever your preference is, do that, okay? So um, you can change it to whatever color that you want it to. Um, these first three plots, no, first two plots, get rid of those, okay? So I don't know if y'all saw that, but I'm gonna bring it back. So you see all these little lines. You may, first, when you start out trading, you may think that these are support and resistance lines. They are not support and resistance resistance lines. These are just indicating where the market, um, I mean, I guess you could, it's not support and resistance, but it's where market actually shot up and then just leveled off and did resist that. But these are not accurate support and resistance, if that makes sense. Okay, so we want to take those away, take those plots completely away. And then also the buy and sell check marks. I take those off. Those are those little checks that basically is like buy and sell indicators. Um, it's not really necessary. So I'll take it out because you're just trying to minimize the noise. Um, this white line, make it visible. I mean, this plot, this third plot right here, make it visible. If it's like white, gray, whatever, make sure you can see it because later on I will explain why. Um, you kind of want, want that inside of this. Um, inputs, um, they're all default. You don't have to change, not a nothing. You don't have to change nothing in here. Visibility, you know, that's all the same. Style is what you want to worry about. You can take off the 200 EMA. I like, oh, excuse me. I like the 200 EMA because I think of the 200 EMA as a magnet or, you know, market is always going to be attracted to it and then it bounces off so if you like the 200 ema then keep it if you don't then let it go but in this training purposes i am going to keep the 200 ema then this is what it looks like on just your chart okay so it's a little bit less noise but yes this right here are two bollinger bands not just one it's two bollinger bands so this is, I, I actually really love this. If you have a strategy for Bollinger Bands, I feel like this is an extra added bonus with the second Bollinger Band. That's why I love it so much. Um, but yes, so moving on. So then we have, if you have the free version of TradingView, you want to go to Indicators, okay? And you want to go to Stochastic, so RSI. Okay. This one right here. This one right here. Yeah. You click on that. You get this one. You get two. Well, I have two stochastics, but the settings are different. And later on, I will tell you the reason why I have two, but you don't necessarily need the second one um, for this strategy that I'm going to say. Um, but this is the stochastic um rsi and then i'm going to double click on it double click and then so you can see the style and inputs of course you can change this whatever color that's appetizing to you and what looks good to you and your eyes um and then over here we have k is three three fourteen fourteen okay and so cut the rsi source close yes 
everything else, style, that's all you. That stays the same, but the inputs, I'm gonna leave it there so you can get a screenshot real fast. Um, and yes, so that is my first, this is the main stochastic. Yes, main stochastic. Now, if you do have the paid version, um, you can come to this one and you can also get the second stochastic. And this one is five, okay, five, three, three, 14, and still closed. Okay, style, that's all you, baby. That's all you. So this right here is um, the settings. Take a screenshot if you'll need it and let me know. Yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. And down here, last but not least, we have the DMI Extreme. Okay. Um, so we go to our indicators yet again, and we type in DMI, and we want to look for this one, DMI Stochastic Extreme. Yes, nothing else. There's a whole bunch of different DMIs, but this is the one that I use, and yet again, has the most likes. Oh, yeah, baby. Wait. Okay, sorry. I know I got bad ass. <laughs> Just zoom in. Okay, so now what are we going to do with these uh, indicators that we have? Now, I do want to stress, stress, stress about indicators is not a strategy. It's not a strategy. Indicators are put into place to help you um, confirm your strategy in order to help you confirm the moves. That's what you use indicators for. Now, it may be too much. If it is too much for you, let me just break it down to why I use these um, indicators. Now, um, so what we're looking for, um, let me see, find a good, good, good example. Bam, right here, okay. So, okay, so this is what we're looking for. We want to see, this is what we're looking for right here. This is number one, oversold, okay? We wanna look for oversold condition, overbought, geez, overbought condition, sorry, overbought is going up. Overbought conditions, we wanna see it touching either the first or the second Bollinger Band, okay? So this is alert number one, okay? This is alert number one, this is when you say, hey, I need to take a look at this, okay? And then we want to look at, and I'm just gonna say the, um, I'm just gonna focus on just the two, okay? So that you can, um, for all the people that just have the free version of, of um, trading view. So, so we look for right here for the touching of the over bot conditions. And then we want to come over here to this right here. And this is what we want to see as well. Okay, we want to see this. Overbought conditions, okay? Overbought conditions, overbought conditions. And also, what do y'all think? <laughs> overbought conditions. <laughs> okay, so. Here we go, here we go, here we go, right here. So as we can see, this right here is overbought, it's overbought and it's overbought. So this is telling us that market is just too, it's just, too, it's pushing up too much. It's pushing up too much. And so obviously what goes up must come down, yeah? So whenever it is overbought at all three levels, it has to be completely up and down confirmations. Yes, this right here is the meat and potatoes, okay? You see this right here? It's telling us that these are confirmations that this is my sell, okay? So when you look at the stochastic right here, you also wanna notice let me make this a little bit wider for you guys so that you can really, really see what I'm talking about. You also want to notice that there is a crossover. 
So this is overbought. Now, I want to stress to you guys that because um, a lot of people, especially like YouTube and everything else, they're like, oh, when it's overbought or if it's oversold, you know, if it's overbought, sell. If it's oversold, buy. No, that's not the case. Because you see this wonky dooey stuff. It's just overbought, 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 overbought. Then it finally starts to drop. Okay. The reason why that it finally post finally dropped, my blue line finally crossed my, my orange line on the downside. So this right here, this cross, this is what you want to see. This right here, not all of it, just this part. Okay. This crossover, this crossover is a clear indication. This is saying it's about the tank. Okay. It's about the tank. It's about the deep dive into the ocean. Okay. And then look at this DMI. This is my DMI. As you can see, it was overbought and then it came up. I mean, came down and then came back up and then also dropped down. This is what you want to see. This extension, if you um, don't have the second stochastic, this extension is major, major key. Because if you look at the chart, with this sale right here, it came back up and dropped again when you have that extension. And then also with the DMI extreme, they have these little sell, sell and buy right here. Um, I don't really pay attention to it much, but um, you could if, and if you start to master that, but I don't really look at that per se. So, um, but it does give you the indication to sell or when to buy. So you can add that to your confirmations as well. But now let's see what it looks like if we are looking for the opposite and we're looking for the, um, we're looking for buy situations, okay? So we wanna take every time, okay? <laughs> Okay, so we want to look for, um, trying to get rid of this, guys. So we want to look for um, buy situations. So buy situations is the exact same thing as we can see right in this area right here. Okay, we are touching the outside Bollinger Band. Okay, now it could be the inside Bollinger Band, but when it touches the outside, that's that's real good. Okay, so it's touching the outside Bollinger Band, and it's also, look at here, making that cross up, making that cross up. Once it makes that cross, that baby flies. It flies every time, and look at this. And what did I say? With binary, we only want to be right for two to three candlesticks. Two to three candlesticks, we need to be correct. So if we would have took a trade right in this area, <clears throat> right in this area when it touched the opening of this candle and you got in, that thing flew. I'm like a bird, I wanna fly away. <laughs> it just flies, okay? So it goes up into the direction. It goes into a buy direction. Look right here. Same situation, literally back to back. So you could be in the same pair. And we talked about this yesterday, getting ma mastering one, one pair. You can say on this chart, just one, this one pair, which is AUDUSD, which I love. I love AUDUSD. And also, as you can see, it's on the top of the Bollinger Bands. Also overbought. Also overbought. And it's tanks for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the five minute chart. So I analyze this strategy is a five minute, is on the five minute chart. Does that make sense? Does anybody have questions? So far, so good. So far, so good. Um, if anybody does have any questions, just leave them in the box. And uh, Demi did have a question, um, you know, we, if you can just show people like where they can create, because some people have like other templates for other things that they've learned. 
So um, I think it's in that area in the top right when they save it as a template, right? And then they can go between their different uh, templates or? Oh, yeah, 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 right here. OK. Right here. Um, so auto save, you can save it. You can rename it. I think I have a. Yeah. So, so Demi, do you see where it says new charts and load old charts? So um, if you want to switch from this chart to something else you're doing, maybe you have like an indices thing going on, you could just load that chart. And then if you want to come back, you can load this chart. Yes. So load chart. So like on this one, uh, with the crystal set up for me, I just call it crystal binary. So if I need to use it, it's there. If I need to switch to another one, I could switch to another one. Oh, I feel special. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yes, um, yeah, you can name your charts and you can set up charts. Um, I used to have a whole bunch, but I don't even know where they went. I did, I think, because well, I just, I focused on this one. Um, but yes, so that is the three set, set setup. All you need is overbought condition, overbought conditions, overbought conditions. That thing drops. And as Nicholas, that thing tanks. Like when I tell you that it's like, you don't, it's not wishful trading. I'm not, I feel like a lot of like binaries, they do wishful trading. Like, please, please, please go in the right direction. No, 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 This is not Russian roulette, you know? So this isn't pull the trigger and hope that the bullet doesn't go through. You know, <laughs> like you want to take a trade and be able to walk away from your complete computer knowing for a fact that you are about to play that trade. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And this right here, for people that are starting out brand new with binary, this strategy is super simple. So what if you can't, if you cannot identify your support and resistance, if you're having trouble with finding trend lines and everything else, you can literally just, if you have to be disciplined, you have to be disciplined. Do not take it just because it is like this area right here. I wouldn't have taken this. This right here, just because it's touching the bullet defense, it doesn't line up. It doesn't line up at all. Yes, it's touching the bullet defense, correct? It's touching this first bullet defense. Yes, it dropped a little bit, but I don't like those little bitty drops. I like deep drops. I like boop. Look at this. Sell, drop, drop. Because in binary world, you know, 10 pips, if you can catch 10 pips in Forex, 10 pips is like 100 pips in binary world. Like it is gone so far. But as I was saying, this right here, yes, it is touching the first bullet fence. But if you go straight down, it's not overbought. It's not overbought. So I wouldn't have took from that. I wouldn't have took from that at all. Um, so, Stay away from those stuff like that. So if you want to get into, um, um, a, just make sure that it meets all of the requirements, all of the rules. And then that's when you can start implementing your um, your zones, okay? So let me know if y'all have any questions about that. Um, wait. Oh, okay. Um, but yes, okay, so so with this 200 EMA, the reason why I love the 200 EMA, and I keep the 200 EMA is because, I like I said before, it's like a bouncing ball. I mean, it's like um, a magnet, okay? It's going to attract the market. So it attracts it, then it bounces, and then it attracts, and then it bounces. Sometimes when it plays around, so like areas like this, be very wary because um, when it's really close to the 200 EMA, you know, that could be a little bit, as you can see, it's very choppy right here. And we don't want that. We want like, we want a move. Okay. We want to move. So, but this is all it's doing right here is, um, so look at this. So market is moving up, correct? So when it's above the 200 EMA, it is boop, 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 it's an uptrend, okay? So if you're having a hard time with um, figuring out trend lines and everything else, you can use this, I wanna say use it as a trend line, but just, it gives you a more of a, a confirmation on, okay, yeah, the market is moving up per se, you know, unless it's playing around, 
but in this zone, it's ranging. As we can see, it's ranging. So we know we have uptrend, consolidation range, breakout. Now I do want to, I love that. Whenever I, I, I understood that, let me, oh, this is a good example right here. Okay, look at this. Look at this massive drop. So it, it broke below the 200 EMA and then dropped, correct? So with, let's turn that. Okay, I'm, this is not perfect, but as you can see, it dropped, right? It drops, then consolidates or ranges, okay? It's in a range, then it breaks out and moves to the upside. Now this, if you can really start to understand this, you will, life will change for you <laughs> when it comes to trading because it will do this time and time again. It will be in a trend, regardless if it's an uptrend or a downtrend, then it will consolidate or range like what it's doing right here. Then it's gonna break out and it's gonna to go to the upside, okay? Look at this over here, another example. Um, small uptrend, do, 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 consolidates, breaks on the downside. Yeah, does it again. Right here, it's a small, 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 but then it consolidates, breaks on the upside. Y'all see that? So, so how do how do you solidify this um, this strategy? How do you make it more profitable? Right? How do you make it more profitable? Well, this is how you do it. You start off with a higher time frame. Okay. Higher time frame tells us the big, bigger picture. When you when you look at a puzzle, when you look at a puzzle, it's hard to look at little bitty small pieces of the puzzle and actually get to the whole picture. Okay. So you don't know what you're building if you're looking at just little bitty chunks of the puzzle. So if you have one little piece, that doesn't help you make your trade because you're only focusing on that little bitty thing. But if you have the picture right in front of you, okay, you have the picture right in front of you and then you start breaking it down, breaking it down, breaking it down, that's when you're able to put the pieces together, okay? And so that's what I wanna do for you. So I wanna put the pieces together for you, okay? So go on the higher time frames and figure out the movements that it's making, okay? So with binary, you don't need much information. You don't need much information. Look how many, that's hours, that's days. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't need that much information, but you want to see what the market is doing. Okay, you wanna see what the market is doing. So you see, look at this market. This is the hourly, okay? And I was like say support, which is the floor, always becomes a resistance which is a ceiling, okay? Always, always, always. Yes, you'll have this range moment motion, but um, in consolidation, sometimes inside of the zone, it will consolidate, but this is what you're looking at, okay? So the past, unfortunately, tells us the future, okay? Even with life, our past can predict our future, you know? So we wanna, we wanna change that, okay? But you wanna look at the past, Get information from the past because it, it does it time after time again this is a computer so when we say take your feelings out of it legit take your feelings out of it because the computer doesn't care if you're in profit or not it does not care if you're in profit or not all it cares about is what the market is doing okay so as we can see over here in this zone right here it's it's a support and it's like a basketball who who likes basketball everybody loves basketball I hope. But anyways, it's a it's a basketball. Okay, you're dribbling up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. It's 
it's bouncing. This is the floor. It's bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. And what do you? What happens whenever you uh, take a shot? Take a shot. You throw it up in the air. That thing is gonna come down, and it's gonna bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> it's gonna bounce, right? So, this is why understanding your support and your resistance levels is super, super key. Okay. So, you're like, hey, why are you, why are you marking this up? Because this is where market touch multiple times and reject it from that area. It rejected from that area. It rejected from that area. So this is the hourly. Okay. And you re and let's see. Yes. So this is the hourly. Okay. So this is the hourly. You really don't need a zone for the hourly. Actually, I'm just gonna. So right now, this was, <clears throat> that was the zone for the support, I believe. Yeah, yeah, support, so forth, yes. Okay, so this is the hourly chart, okay? So you see market right now, it broke through, it broke through and then retested it and shot back up. Y'all remember that I said yesterday about, I mean, the other day about, it breaking other supportive resistance and then retesting and then breaking back up. It happens on every time frame. It doesn't matter what time frame that you're on. So when it comes to like Forex, you can implement this in your strategy with Forex. As you can see, it did it. Bam. Okay. So hourly. Let's see. Okay, so sorry, that was a little track mark. Okay, so that's the hourly. This is the 15 minutes. 15 minutes, this is the most high, the most recent high right here on the, my 15 is pink line. Yes, I have a system. This this um, is the most recent low. So as you can see, the market is just consolidating inside of this zone right? It's consolidating. It's bouncing back and forth, bouncing back and forth, right? In that zone. So you know that you're, you're going to be trading inside of this because when you do a three minute, five minute position, these candles right here, this information and this zone right here is what you really truly need. Yes, you need to know that it's on an uptrend, but we can clearly see it's going up, up and away. Okay. <clears throat> it's going up, up and away. And then we have, we're marking up our most recent high and our most recent low, which is also, this is also our hourly. My blue line is our hourly. And then we come down to the five minute. Okay, the five minute. And then you also want to see what is happening. Okay, what is happening inside of the five minutes. So look at this example right here. So you see this line up perfectly. It's a resistance line, yes, and it's also touching my Bollinger Band. It's also over by. Oh, I hope we have time where it just it does it right in front of our eyes, and so you can see how magical this is. Okay, so it's pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. So it has plenty of room, plenty of room to push up. Okay, and that's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to push up because look at this right here. It already broke out of this zone. I mean this um previous resistance line that previous resistance line look right here previous resistance line almost but didn't touch right there resistance broke through it it had trouble right here these long wicks it was figuring out life yeah it was figuring out life it didn't know what to do it didn't know if we should go up or go down okay it was figuring out life of course it wanted to go up so as you see it's still pushing up pushing up pushing up that's because it has room to grow, okay? So when it gets up to this level, that's that's when we determine if we want to buy or sell. Now, when it's touching the over here, let me see. It's also, okay, look at this as well. This right here, you see this rejection right here, rejection right here. It could push up more, but let's see, because it's fighting right there. Now, 
Uh, look at that. Bam. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I scale it down all the way to the three minute. Okay. <clears throat> this is for the paid version. If you have trading view, I don't think the free versions lets you look at double um, double time frames like this. Um, but I like to look at the double time frames because um, I like the lower time frame will show me if it's going to reject that area, but the higher time frame tells me what it really wants to do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. Look good. Anybody have any questions? Make sure to drop them in the box. Is everybody following along? Crystal's doing an amazing job. Drop some. Drop some ones. Drop some fire in the chat. Want to make sure everybody's paying attention. Oh yeah. And I'm goofy. I'm, just <laughs> I'm, goofy. <laughs> I'm goofy. I'm gonna keep you on toes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, but All right, there you go. Seriously though, like seriously, like how? Okay, well, the way that I'm explaining this, how? How easy is it? It's it's super super simple. It's it really really truly is because, like I said before, um. So look at this. In the three minute, we are already in the top bullish band. But look how how the bullish band looks. Okay. Um. That's also another thing too, is that you want width. So the five minute, that is your um. Your setup. This is what you're looking for. The setup. The three minute. Look at this. Look, it's already pushing down. It's already rejecting that. Now, the three minute is. I use the three minute as my entry point. My five minute is where I want to see it set up. My three minute is when I take the trade. So, in a minute. If it shows it, I'm gonna show you how I would, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Because I went back in the past and I saw how this rejected this zone. I seen that. I, right here, look at this. The candle touched this zone and rejected it. It came up a little bit. It still dropped. Look at that. Look at that beauty. So, as we can see, like I said, it's going to drop because I put that line right there because I've seen that. And look at that, dropping, dropping like it's hot. It's dropping like it's hot. Look at that. And all you need to be right is three, two to three candlesticks. That's all you want to be right. Who's feeling, who's feeling the vibes right now? Who's feeling it? Okay, I so I was. I was feeling the vibe. <laughs> what was it, like four o'clock in the morning? I'm like, all right, I'm three and oh, I'm good. Yes, and that's all you need. That's all you really need is three trades and be done. Okay, so this right here, this I would wait. Um, so this right here, this is this is what I call a confirmation candle. You see this push down? It's it's telling me it's telling me that it wants to drop right here. It wants to reject this zone. Okay, so when we have um, a rejection candle like this, and you still have, okay, it's, this is my five minute, right? Okay, yeah, so it's five minute right here. Let's see what it's gonna do. This is when patient is key, okay? So we wanna see, we wanna make sure that it closes below. We wanna make sure that it, it's, it's still pushing down, okay? So whenever, what we got? We got seven seconds left. Okay, so this long wick right here, bam this is when i would that's when i would have entered right here let me show you bam at the opening of this three minutes open on three minutes dropping it like it's hot i would just take a three minute sell right here if i were trading if i were trading i would just took a three minute sell and let's see how that thing plays out. Now, it's in the top bullish bands. It's overbought, overbought. It crossed over. Look over here. Let me go to just one chart. <clears throat> oh, 
bam, look at that crossover. Extra added confirmation is crossed down. And the sharper this is, the harder it drops. Look how beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So like I said, three minute, I wanna see the confirmation. We're also hitting a level of resistance. Let me see on the 15 minute, what it looks like on the 15. Yes, so resistant, resistant. This candle right here touched this line, resistant. It came up here, re rejected. Reject it on the five minute and look at that. Is it three minutes up yet? Wait. It's about to be. It's about to be. That's a three minute clear trade. Deep drop, baby. Deep drop. So when you start really, really understanding the um, support and resistance, when you start seeing that, life's gonna get easier for you. Now look at this. Now it could come down here to this level. I'm just gonna bring this on up. Uh, yeah, about this level, it could come here and shoot back up because it is an uptrend. So this right here, um, when I identified that, it is called a um, counter trend trade. My counter trend trades, I take shorter, um, I take the, the shorter. When I'm actually going with the trend, I take a five minute or something like that. I'll take a, you know, a more safer, safer bet. But as you can see, Y'all, it's beautiful. You in the clear. I love that. Look at that. And on the one minute, it's still dropping. <sighs> that would have been a beautiful sale. Look at that. Still dropping. So that is how you want to look at it. You want to see the setup happening on the five minute. Now, it didn't come all the way up here, but I did notice this right here. So, and look at this crossover. What we just talked about crossover, bam. DMI, extreme crossover extension. This is the extension. This is what I'm talking about the extension. So, if you would have gotten in late, if you were late to the party and didn't get in until here and you waited for the extension. If you would have waited for the DMI extension on the five minutes, you would have entered right here and you still would have cleared a three minute because the three minute is about to, it's about to end in a minute and 30 seconds. See, <laughs> what I tell you, but see this one would have been a little bit riskier because you're already two candlesticks into the move. Okay, so when they say like, uh, don't chase the trade, that I, I consider that chase the trade, going in on the second, third candle. Cause look, see, bam, it, 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 it touched that zone. See, it touched this zone right here, right here and Boom, like a like a spring and then bounce back up. Now if it breaks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Sorry. I just love trading. This is why you should love trading. Put your music on, put your jams on, and just get in the zone. Auto zone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So moving on, moving on, moving on. So also another thing that is um, very powerful other than the, site, the, the support and resistance. So if you, come, if you can see your trend line, okay, and go to the five minutes. Oh, I'm on three minutes, why it's like jankity. Okay, so let's see. 
Okay. <clears throat> Our trim line. Honestly, if you are on, if you have to drag it up, then it's an up trim, guys. I'm saying that because when I was like, when I first started, I I could not see the up <laughs> I was like, wait, how do you know? Y'all, I was slow. Y'all was slow in the beginning. It was slow. It's okay though. It's okay because I kept going after it, you know? And there's so many people out there that that sit up and give trading, like they give up on trading so fast. You know, but then they'll go back to school for years. What? No, you go to school for years, but yet you won't take trading. You won't learn trading for years. I don't get that. When you literally can be making more than whatever trade, that, I mean, whatever, you know, trademark that you're in and make bank if you just stuck it out. Okay, I want to rewind right here because I want to show you guys something. So trend line plus support and resistance line. Right there. So um, this, yeah, so this is good. So as you can see, market bounce from on this line, on the floor. So right here, resistance was resistance. It broke through and it made it re re support because I'm going to repeat this over and over and beat it in your head that resistance turns into support. Turns into support. Okay, so I'm just going to go fast. Bam. Oh, shoot. Missed it. Right there. <clears throat> Um, bring up just a little bit. Okay, look, support is touching the um, trend line where it touched multiple times. If you go back, it's touching multiple times. It's it's staying on this line. Sometimes it doesn't always reach down there, but it always finds its way back. So if you find yourself finding the market coming back to um, your trend line on top of that, it's in a support zone, baby. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Look at that. This is the five. Oh, this is a 15 minute. This is a 15 minute. That's, look at that. Look at that, guys. <sighs> okay, where's my where my square? Oh, Rick, thank you. Okay, out, out of bounds, out of bounds, out of bounds, and out of bounds. So our confirmations are there. Our confirmations are there. We have this lovely trend line. It's there. And if you get real close to it, yes, this on the bigger scale, this is the 15 minute, but on the micro, if we took um, from the bottom of these candles, <clears throat> I like zones as well because um because sometimes like okay so see this right here this push up in this area right here it just consolidated it just it ranged into this right here and it broke out a little bit and then came back down and then it ranged yet again now this all this mark, mark is straight con consolidation don't trade consolidation don't trade consolidation i mean unless you get master at it and you're like bro do you but I don't like consolidation. I think it's ugly. So that's my personal preference. So as you can see, it hit this zone. So I hit the zone. It hit our trend line. And then it skyrocketed. 
Drop some ones if y'all see that. Drop some ones. I want some, I want some, I need some vibes. I need y'all to match my energy right now. Like I really not, I need y'all to match my energy. I have unmuted everybody. So <clears throat> I, wanted ah. to, I, I wanted to mute everybody for the first half so you can get through the education. But if anybody has any questions now, since we're coming up on an hour, if you want to unmute yourself, if you have questions for Crystal, go ahead and do hey. so. It has been an hour. Nicholas, you say, you say, you keep me on time. <laughs> <laughs> you keep me on time because you know I'll be talking. But yes, but so y'all see how how easy it is, okay? Y'all see how, and two lines, bring it up. So I, I took this line down here and I brought it up. Yeah, let's see what it is. <laughs> y'all see what it did? Dropped, dropped like a hat. Look, dropped like a hat. Okay, yeah, so then there we go, but still still in the in the go zone look at that it's kind of consolidating right here but this is a major zone but see, remember when i told you about the zones so this um the zones the way i find zones is at the bottom of the candle to the bottom of the wick so this zone right here that's why it is consolidating inside of it okay so until it it, it until it figure out life and now it's figuring out life. Retouch. Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw it. Y'all saw it. Broke out. Retest it. Shot. Oh. I hate that. <laughs> but yes. Bam. Bam. It's beautiful. I want to make a Facebook group and I want everybody to show me your charts after they mark it up. And so everybody from questioning, I want to make a group, a little chat, chat, chatty, chat, chat. I want to see everybody's results because y'all's results are about to go crazy. Well, definitely we'll create a, a team binary group and stuff. So um, Crystal, I just wanted to show people my chart setup so they could see what I've been doing, you know, based on what you've taught me. Yeah. Okay, so let me... Okay, right. Hang on one second. I can so much text that. Okay, there we go. Ah. Stop sharing. Okay, so this is the way I have it set up. Um, so I could look at the five minute, three minute, and two minute. So when I used to do binary, and you can ask uh, Ali and coach this, I, I would have to have both of my computers on both of my screens, and I'm just looking back and forth, and it was very chaotic, and that's how I missed trades and stuff. But um, this setup is a lot better because last night I was actually trading on my laptop. I don't trade binary on my laptop because I need more space, but I was able to do it just by using this setup. So I'm looking at the two minute chart, three minute. And basically what I'm doing is I'm looking for, you know, the movement to happen on the two minute first. I'm waiting for my indicators to line up. And then what I'll do is I'll take an early entry on the three or the five because this is tipping me off what's about to happen. So. Um, you could do the same thing. You just um, come up here to the top and then select which layout. So I use the three layout right here. That way I don't need multiple monitors. Um, and then what I do, I'll just come on this one. I'll switch it to maybe the one hour time frame. That way I can get an idea of what the overall trend has been for the last hour. So I know, okay, it's been uptrending. So, um, you know, I'll probably be looking for buys unless I see something that um, I really like. The other thing I wanted to show you all was the compound calculator, okay? So okay. let's just say that you started your binary account with $1,000, right? And your goal is your goal is to make about 2% a day, okay? If you want to be more conservative, you can go to 1%. And let's just say um, 60 days because you trade about 20 days a month. You don't trade on the weekends. We don't do OTC trading. It's very dangerous. Don't do it. Only trade when the actual market is open. So 60 trading days is about three months. And let's just say you in reinvest all your money for that three months. Don't include the weekend. Let's say we start tomorrow. Okay. So your $1,000, if you follow this trading plan, you can turn your 1000 to 3000 So you can triple your money in 90 days, right? This is if you keep reinvesting, you don't pull any money out. So, you know, you can mess around with the settings. And if you want to, you know, pull money out, let's just say, you know, um, I want to reinvest 75%. So I want to take out 25%. It'll take, take, 
tell you that, okay, you can pull out about $500 and this will be your profit. So um, let me just go back to 100% because for, for 90 days, you want to be committed to not taking any money out of your account. It'll show you after day one, you know, you'll have $20, $40 and just look at how much it can grow. Your uh, lot sizes will grow or your trade sizes will grow. And um, like I said, if, if you, um, let me stop sharing my screen, but um, if you make sure that you don't do revenge trading. You have a trading plan like um, Crystal was uh, saying. Hang on one second, let me. Uh... Okay, so um, like Crystal was saying that if you um, get your three trades, you should be done for the day because what happens is people get greedy. The fourth trade goes backwards, then you chase on the fifth trade and then all of a sudden you're negative for the day. So, you know, when I, and I know why it happens. Sometimes you feel like I'm in a groove. It's like, let me just keep this going. You, you, you have to live to see another day, right? You made your profit for the day. Don't be greedy because what happens is when you sit at the computer for too long, you start forcing things too. So um, th there's no reason why, you know, binary can be done in an hour a day. I mean, I did all that in like 30 minutes last night. So you just have to be in the zone. Now, when you do your binary, distractions have to be off. You have to be off of Facebook. You have to put your phone away. One slight distraction, because it happened to me last night, that fourth trade I was looking for, it, it actually took off on me. And I was like, no, I don't want to get in now. I just turned it off. At that point, I just shut down trading view because I didn't want to take the trade because I would have messed with my mind saying, oh, I missed a good entry. But that candle took off better than any of the three previous wins. So it's good. But the good thing is, is that I can see it now. And I couldn't see it before. And, you know, it's because of what Crystal taught me and just setting the charts up. So like, like I said, um, we'll get this recording up and um, go ahead and set up your charts. And Crystal, what time do you want to do live trading tomorrow? Did you decide, is it like uh, 10, 11, 9? Or... Oh, you're, you're on mute, Crystal. <laughs> My bad, I was talking. <laughs> oh, yeah, 10 is good. 10 is good. 9, nine or 10 is good. Whatever, whatever. What do y'all want? What do y'all want? I, either way, the, the charts look beautiful. I but, think the, the closer we get to London, the action's a little better. I think nine might be too early. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, we're talking about nine central. So I think we're talking about 11 Eastern. So okay. 10 p.m. Central, 11 Eastern. Let's do some live trading tomorrow night for about an hour or so. And, um, you know, like I said, you don't have to go get your account funded. You, you just attend the session and watch how Crystal trades live. And um, you know, maybe Coach and Ali will be there. They can throw down some signals too. So we'll see what happens tomorrow night. But um, me and Crystal will be there. You all attend. And um, you know, just focus on the education. Don't be in a rush to make money. Because when you learn this skill, you'll be like, Crystal, th this is it. This is what she does full time. She's a full time trader. She loves the binary markets. So um, you know, um, just learn from her like I did. And you know, it could be completely life changing. So Crystal, any, into the trade. <laughs> yeah, any last thoughts, Crystal, before we wrap up? Uh, no. Okay. So yeah. So when you were talking about, you know, no distractions, that is so key because yesterday I missed this beautiful sale. Like it dropped to, I don't even know, like it dropped down to crazy and I was distracted. I was on my phone. I had marked it down, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait for this song. And then it just, it hit and it dropped so pretty. But I miss it. So don't be distracted, people. <laughs> it it, it <laughs> happens. The binary markets move so quick that, I mean, it, and that's why I'm telling you, with binary, you don't have to sit there all day. Dedicate an hour to it, no distractions, and you will find your trades. But the minute you pick up your phone and go on Facebook, uh, you'll miss trades. It happens every single time. Cool. Yeah. All right, so we will see you tomorrow night. I'll get a flyer ready uh, this evening, but um, just be prepared. Thursday night, today's Wednesday, right? Yeah, so Thursday night, um, 11 p.m. Eastern, we'll do some live trading. So if you're not a nighttime person, they sneak in that nap because you know you need to be up when the markets are moving. And um, that, that, that turned out to be a good time in the past when we used to trade. So you know we'll kind of keep it into that evening session. All right, yes. you are all very welcome. Thank you, Marianne, for co-hosting. Appreciate that. And um, we will talk to you all tomorrow night. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.